9,000 feet up, gnarled and twisted bristlecone pines stand contorted against the barren slopes. These are the Earth's oldest living individual trees. A US team has been able to analyze the tree's annual growth rings with a view to establishing their precise age. They noticed that most of the rings followed a pattern consistent with steady climatic activity, which is why most of the rings are an equal distance apart from one another. The rings reveal these trees are over 5,000 years old. And they provide a unique record of climate conditions during the tree's long life. But three and a half thousand years ago, the distance between the annual lines shrinks. A seismic shift in the pattern is clearly evident here. And the only thing that could have affected it so dramatically is a sudden climactic transformation. The tree rings, the ancient inscription, and the Bible itself all seem to tell the same story. A terrifying tale of sudden, violent climate change. The question is, what caused it? Besides a freak event like a meteor crashing into the Earth, for which there is no evidence at this time in history, there's only a very limited number of possible phenomena from the natural world that could cause such dramatic change. And that would be a huge volcanic eruption. But could a single eruption plunge Egypt's climate into chaos? Could it unleash plagues of locusts and frogs? Could it kill the firstborn? Geologist Barbara Sivertson thinks so. She's investigated the links between natural phenomena and the biblical tale. When you read the account of the 10 plagues, it is really striking how much all of this exactly matches a significant volcanic eruption and the, the ash fall cloud that comes in after it. But there's one problem. There are no volcanoes in the region of Egypt. So we have to ask ourselves, is there a volcano anywhere else which could have caused an eruption in ancient times which would have been so violent and so dramatic that it could have had an effect on Egypt's weather? One candidate stands out. Three and a half thousand years ago, 400 miles north of Egypt, the Greek island of Santorini was home to the thriving Minoan civilization. But it was built on a ticking time bomb, the colossal Thera volcano. One day in the late 16th or early 17th century BC, the volcano exploded. For Santorini's inhabitants, it was the end. But for the rest of the ancient world, it was just the beginning. Besides the destruction of Santorini itself, the entire region was hit by earthquakes, tsunamis, floating pumice, and ashfall. A terrifying chain of events had been set in motion. But did these include the Bible's 10 plagues? 